Sody Deer Camp? Found her. The world famous Sody Deer Camp? Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Is that Albert Sody's Sweet Sap Whiskey order, I see? Might be so lucky. Yeah, well, better have me a snort, eh? You know what's good for you? Oh, how you feeling, Pop? If I felt any better, I'd be dangerous. <laughs> A little heavy under sap. A little what? Under sap. It's a little heavy under sap. The sap's what makes it. Yeah, well, that may be, but if I didn't know better, I'd say I just drunk from a bottle of maple syrup. Give me the damn jar back. All right, said A man who can't look another man right in the hairy eyeball and tell him he's heavy under sap ain't much of a man. <laughs> Maybe it'd be better if I took the sap out altogether. Wouldn't it make you happy? Well, it wouldn't think Aunt Jemima every time I took a snort, I can tell you that. Well, I ain't about to do it, so put that down. That year camp was as tense as a well, moose's butt during fly season. Remnor didn't help. Hello! <laughs> is this the Sody Deer Camp? You found her. The world famous Sody Deer Camp? The one in the same. And is that a pint of Albert Sody Sweet Sap Whiskey, I see? You like pancakes? A little heavy on the sap, eh? Oh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's what makes it, Jack. You're late. Camp. You're supposed to be Flat here at Lander. six, eh? Fudge sucking off to the porcelain bus, picked up the I'm beer, taken very about much. That. You know that. You're supposed to steer clear of her, Remnor. Did you want the beer or not? I, I don't care about the beer. That's already been drunk before. Pop, I got it, okay? I got it. Did you bring the pasties? Yeah. Tell me you brought the pasties. We're gonna eat like kings. You know me, you know how I am. I am a creature with habits. If things aren't just so, things, things won't, won't work out. out. That's I right. Tell me again you brought the pasties. I took care of it, eh? Beautiful. <laughs> is this heaven or is this heaven, eh? This is heaven. I think I look forward to opening day of deer season more than any other day of the year. <laughs> it's like Christmas with guns. You feeling lucky this year, Pop? Cause I'm feeling lucky. Give a man a little luck and anything will do for brains. Yeah, toss a little over this way. I was driving up to camp tonight. I swear to God I had one of those tings. What do you call those tings you get when you're driving? Blackouts? Blackout. One of those tings that flash across your mind like a dream, only you're not dreaming. A vision? I was driving up to camp, eh? Thinking about what scope to use, which socks to wear, how much beer to take, you know. The essentials. Right? When all of a sudden, right there in front of me is a 50-point buck. A 50-point buck? That's what I said. There is no such thing as a 50-point buck. I know, I know, I know. I said the same thing. I said, this can't be so. I mean, you know, a 50-point buck. Yeah. But I looked again, and there he was, as real as you. And the thing was, he didn't go away. I just kept seeing him and seeing him and seeing him. And you're still driving this whole time? I do not believe I was, no. Somebody had their hands on the wheel, but I cannot tell you for sure they was mine. Holy wah. Wow. Holy wah is right. So I jump out of the truck, and still he don't move a muscle. It was like he was waiting for me, just standing there, tall and proud like the trophy that he is. So I bring my gun up, put my finger on the trigger, take a deep breath. To study your nerves. And that's when he spoke to me. He spoke to you? <laughs> take me, Remnar. Take me now. <laughs> you buggered him. Ah, you buggered him that time. <laughs> he swallowed it all. All of it. All of it. Ah. <laughs> I don't know whose hands are on the wheel, eh? <laughs> I just made that up as I'm talking. <laughs> oh, 50 point buck. Yeah, that might be the only buck you see this year, eh? So you're just jealous because I kicked your butt last year. You and all your toes put together couldn't kick my butt. Yeah, my 12 pointer to your little 4.4 corn, I think that's a butt kicking in anybody's book. Would you say that's a butt kicking, Robin? Leave me out of it. I took the four corn and passed on the 20 pointer. <laughs> I didn't have the clear shot. 20 pointer. That's right. You can't make a clean kill. Don't make a kill at all. If you ain't gonna pull the trigger, Pop, then snap a picture. At least then you'll have something for the scrapbook. I shot the biggest buck anybody sitting in this room. <gasps> when was that, Pop? November 15th, 1961. Back when the bucks were as thick as mosquitoes, that's right. 18.15 inch times 24 inch spread with a weight of 284 pounds, fully dressed, and don't you forget it. Are you sure you didn't shoot a cow? <laughs> <laughs>
Hmm. I would have been a state record if I felt like reporting it. Well, it wasn't, because you didn't. The hell it wasn't. You didn't report it, eh? You don't report it, it ain't a state record. I don't believe in state records. Well, he don't believe in state records. I don't believe in anything managed by the goddamn DNR. They aren't either managed by the DNR. Ruben, what's the name of that big game agency down in... CBM? CBM, that's right, Pop. CBM stands for what? What's it stand for? Commemorative Bucks of Michigan. Commemorative Bucks of Michigan. You gotta report it to Commemorative Bucks of Michigan. When your great-grandpa Alphonse tagged the Saudi Ridge Buck back in 1922, you think he notified the state? Hell no! Probably hold a state record if he had. He come back to the camp, pulled out the Saudi camp log, and started writing it down for all posterior. Where is it? Right here, Pop. Oh. 1922. 28 points. With a rack spread at... 30 and three quarter inches, and an estimated weight at 334 pounds. Boy, that ain't a state record. That's a world record. How do you know everything in here's any up and up? It's in there, it's the truth. Well, then make sure there's a pestle handy, because when I come down from the ridge tomorrow, there's gonna be a new Sodi record holder, eh? You're hunting the ridge tomorrow? I hate to tell you, but they ain't up on the ridge this year. The big ones are on the ridge, Pop, trust me. Oh, big ones, eh? Oh, yeah, trophies. I've seen the tracks. And you know what they say? Big bucks make big tracks. Store that away for a rainy day. You mind if I hunt it with you? I like to hunt alone. Well, you know, I don't mean side by side. I'll take the one and you take the other. No, that's no good neither, because then when we get to the middle, we'll be shooting each other. We talking? The ridge is five miles long. And I plan on hunting every inch of it. I know. Why don't you hunt the swamp? I hunt the swamp. The whole swamp? You hunt the whole ridge? Well, that's how I hunt, eh? Well, wait, that's okay, how I wait hunt. A minute. No, you can't hunt a ridge the same way you, you hunt don't a swamp. Have to, hell, hey, I hey, can't. Hey, 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 easy. You know, if you're up on the ridge and Pop is down in the swamp, where the heck am I supposed to hunt? How about out by the road? Out by what road? M35. It's a state highway. Do you love the highway? Yeah, I hit one just last week. I'm not going to hunt the highway. It's a highway. Are you sure? I think you might be missing an opportunity here. You... You want me to set up a blind on the shoulder of M35 and wait for the next 10-pointer who tries to cross in traffic? Well, I think you're getting the plum spot. Don't you, Pop? Position A. That's how Bob McGinnis hunts. Yeah. yeah. Sets up a lawn chair right on the side of the road and waits. He'll sit there a whole week if he has to. People bring him food, change of clothes. 